take a look at your phone, I bet you have at least one notification telling you it's Women's Day on the 8th of March. Now is the time to place your last minute flower order. Buy a dozen cupcakes for your female colleagues, order chocolates, reserve a dinner table for your partner or send a meaningful gift to your mom. Yes, Monday is the International Women's Day, it's the 8th of March. But do women really want chocolates and gifts? Women's Day was not supposed to be Black Friday Sale 2.0. It began as a labor movement. 15,000 women marched through the city of New York in the year 1908, demanding better pay, shorter working hours, and the right to vote. In 1909, the Socialist Party of America declared the first National Women's Day. In Copenhagen the following year, the idea of an International Women's Day was tabled during a conference. In 1911, four countries celebrated Women's Day. Women in Russia called for a strike in 1917. They were demanding bread and peace. It was the 23rd of February in the Julian calendar, the 8th of March in the Gregorian calendar. The United Nations officially recognized Women's Day in 1977. The day was meant to create awareness about women's issues, talk about challenges faced by women, not trivialize the gender by offering discounts on supposedly girly products and grocery. Women belong to the kitchen, right? Today, women are still battling Victorian era mentality and I do not see why we should raise a glass tomorrow. It's 2021 and women are still fighting for the most basic, the most primitive of rights. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay and this is our world. Which part of it do you live in? The country is marked in red. Women here do not even have the basic sexual and reproductive rights. Women are still fighting for the right to choice. It is one of the five battles that we will talk about tonight. 90 million women of reproductive age live in countries that prohibit abortion. Try imagining this. A woman is not allowed to make decisions about her own body. She is denied access to health care, contraception. Motherhood is forced on her. No exception is made even in cases of rape or danger to her health. This happens even in developed countries like Malta, San Marino. 41% of women live in countries with restrictive abortion laws. Abortion is a human right. A woman should be able to decide if she wants to have children, when she wants to have children, with whom and how many. Why do countries think that they get to have a say? 23,000 women die every year because of unsafe abortion. So if you're looking to help women on Women's Day, campaign against restrictive laws, speak up in favor of women's rights, also speak up in support of a woman's freedom of movement. Most animals, by the way, have it, but women don't. The right to live and the right to live on our own terms. Another set of battles we are fighting even today. In Iran, a woman needs her husband's permission to travel abroad. In Saudi Arabia, a woman needs a man's permission to leave a prison in case she's detained. Many women across the world are killed or forced into taking their own lives. Let me recap the last 30 days for you. In Argentina, 18-year-old Ursula Bahilo was killed by her ex-boyfriend. Her body was found with 30 stab marks. In India, 23-year-old Aisha Bano killed herself by jumping into the Sabarbati River. She had filed a dowry harassment case against her husband and his family. In Israel, 35-year-old Diana Raz was shot by a police officer husband. He says, I do not know what went through my mind. In Canada, 69-year-old Kathleen Hatcher died. Her son has been charged with second-degree murder. In India again, a woman was burnt alive by her family members. Reports say the family had hired a contract killer, paid him a lakh and a half to kill the woman. Violence against women is real. Six women are killed every hour by men around the world. 137 women are killed every day by a partner or a family member. Femicide has worsened during the pandemic. Women are discreetly seeking help over Zoom calls. Watch this. Can you share that banana bread recipe? Sure. It's, it's actually my mom's banana bread recipe, but it's, uh, it's pretty foolproof and super easy. Well, I really appreciate it. I know your mom's a great baker, so should be good. According to the World Economic Forum, 45% of women in West Asia and North Africa are victims of physical or sexual violence. The situation in South Asia is hardly better. 38% women here suffer physical or sexual violence. North America, 32%. Sub-Saharan Africa, 31%. Latin America and the Caribbean, 27%. Europe, 22%. 
So if you're looking to champion women's rights on the 8th of March, ditch the flowers. Instead, call out those who think it's okay to abuse women. Call out the families who harass women. Encourage women to speak up. Do you know why most women choose not to? Because they do not have an option. The third battle women today are still fighting for is education, fighting to become independent. When a girl is born in India, parents prefer saving for her marriage. Why invest in a girl's education? And you'll be surprised this mindset goes beyond Indian borders. Only 66% of countries have gender parity in primary education. In upper secondary education, the number drops to 25%. While some refuse to send girls to school, there are others who attack girls for going to school. On the 9th of October, 2012, Malala Yousafzai was shot at by the Taliban. She was only 15 years old. Her fault was that she was too outspoken for Pakistan's Sawat Valley. Across the border in Afghanistan, more than 210 girls' schools were closed down in the year 2016. In Mali, girls have been sexually violated for failing to adhere to dress codes imposed by armed groups. In Somalia, girls were kidnapped from schools to become wives of Al-Shabaab fighters. Today, at least 132 million girls are out of school. They're being denied a future, financial independence, and the very basic right to education. This Women's Day, help girls win the war waged on their education. Here's another battle our gender is still fighting, suffrage. When women in America were given the right to vote back in the year 1920, one woman celebrating the constitutional amendment said this, we cannot change the psychology of the world in a day, but that change will be profound and lasting. It's 2021, 100 years have passed. On paper, every woman today has the right to vote. In practice, they're still denied a voice. There are only men in Kuwait's Parliamentary Committee for Women. Estimates say it could take 18 years to close Pakistan's voting gender gap. In Afghanistan, many women cannot vote because of mandatory photo screening at polling stations. How will we have policies for women if women don't have a say in politics? How will the world achieve gender equality? We have what is called the right to equality. On paper, there is a convention on the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. In reality, women are discriminated against both at home and at work. There is a pay gap. Women earn 77% of what men do for the same work. This is according to Amnesty International. Women do not hold enough positions of power. Only 25% of parliamentarians today are women, the world over. There are only 21 women heads of state or heads of government. Only 14 countries have 50% or more women in cabinet. This is according to UN Women. The United Nations, by the way, has never had a woman secretary general. Nine changes of hands and all men. And this is not about competence. This is not about tokenism either. There are enough and more competent women to lead. This is about equal opportunity that women are denied. Women also pay more for their personal products, at least 7% more than men do. Women perform 2.6 times more unpaid domestic work than men and are 18% less likely to get promoted in their jobs. This is according to McKinsey and Company. Where is the equality? This Women's Day, instead of a fancy candlelight dinner, start a movement to ensure that your partner is paid what she's entitled to. Only six countries give men and women equal legal rights. But marital rape is legal in 36 countries, including India. Women do not want flowers. Women want their rights, basic human rights. In Nigeria, a man is legally allowed to hit his wife. The law says nothing is an offense if done by a husband for the purpose of correcting his wife. In El Salvador, a woman can be jailed for miscarriage. Can you believe it? In 39 countries, laws prevent women from inheriting the same proportion of assets as men. In Syria and Egypt, penal codes allow a lesser punishment for honor killings. So what exactly are we celebrating? Feminism is not a pejorative. We should all be feminists, as they say. It's time for change, meaningful change. A very happy Women's Day to you.